as machine learners and AI experts have been really used to models that we can control in the past. We build a model, and then when we release a model, we talk about its accuracy going up a certain percentage. When we step into the LLM world, which all these chatbots are, we kind of almost are stepping into a totally new world here. We certainly can generate pre-canned prompts that we want the bot to respond to and then see how they respond. And then we can look at that response and see how it measures up, not only in how factual it might be, but also the communication modality. Like, is it, is it, is it being respectful or empathetic? Is it being uh, professional? When we test these bots for those types of things, we want to be very adversarial. You can even imagine us, and we do develop sort of adversarial bots to communicate with, with these standard bots to try to do things to make it mess up. How does your bot respond to when you've corrected it? Or is it good at remaining on topic? In traditional ML, you, you, know, you grab a chunk and you hold it aside and you use that for your, your testing or your validation. Whereas in the new world, you don't actually have to know anything about data science to get a bot to seem pretty darn impressive, right? Like you can just be That's a right. developer who is used to thinking in a more deterministic fashion and they can get something working and you could get an overzealous project manager or executive sponsor that's like, this is great, let's launch it. And I'm sure that's probably what happened at Air Canada and you know, in the, in the, Chevy, in the Chevy dealership that, that launched this thing. But the real, the real weakness there is that there's an assumption that your user is not a deviant and not somebody who's going to be adversarial and not going to be very tricky. The world's worth of data was used to build this. And actually, that makes it a bit scary because you don't have knowledge, really, about what data was used to train that particular model. You can take these models and you could do something very tricky that I saw was done by a hacker. Okay, Admittedly, these are AI researchers, but they got one very, very, very intelligent, let's say, LLM model to reveal underlying uh, training data on personal information. So I think they revealed that like a doctor's address and phone number. Yeah. How did they do it? Yeah. They did it by asking the bot to repeat a word like bird like a hundred times or something like that. I mean, something that's just completely off the charts, like no one would ever do that. Anyway, they were able to expose something with the, with the purpose of trying to reveal uh, information that otherwise shouldn't be revealed. That's a security issue, right? That's a real security issue.